All right, guys. Hey, thanks for joining me today. Uh, just setting a slip tank on the fuel uh, on the pickup for fuel, and I'll put the four tine on the Massey so uh, Karen can do uh, some cleaning up, uh, moving mineral feeders, and uh, the steers had a bale that they didn't finish. <clears throat> that kind of. Stuff. And so, yeah, I'll get the truck fueling on fuel. I have 10 acres of my own left to combine. And then, uh, um, we gotta come up with a better spot for these uh, front attachments. <clears throat> and I got the pickup right in the way. Day, first day or what you know retrain daily it uh so yeah so i can get going on combining and then uh with any luck i can get the wagons back here she can unload wagons while i <coughs> take off with the massey and uh go get the grain cart and get moved up to the the customers to start custom combining I got him I don't know if you can see it on camera but uh, there we got our four tine and I heard it snap um, so on this on this Massey loader, it's kind of neat. There are these Quickie brand loaders. Uh, when you go to hook up to the implement, you dump it all the way. And when it's down low, that makes the tool carrier upside down. So where you see that yellow paint on top, that bracket's hanging down below. And then the, you know, I can just look down the side of the tractor for that yellow strip, put it in the hole, and... Uh, and I got it. it. It works out quite slick. Um, and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pause so I can get to the next train of thought. Here's my combine box. It, it was a promotion. Kloss Company, you know, the, the Kloss Lexion. Um, Kloss. They, uh, they, gave, they had this on promotion a couple years ago, but it's been several years now, for a couple hundred dollars um, when this exact same box from like Northern Tool or one of the construction companies was over $1,200. And so I, I felt guilty taking it, but it, that's a heavy freaking box. But um, I got my hay section, uh, most of it's combine stuff, but I got my hay section, my strip till, pail and the spare shields and the Massey tractor filters and a seal for the rear window um, but I got you know lots of belts for the combine just in case some some spare leaf springs for the head some polys for the head um, and then the, and then the, the disc bind parts here I'm gonna just grab a guard um, but uh, now that we got the new shop built, I'd like to get a storage shelf space for hay parts and tractor parts can go in the shop and then just keep this uh, for combines. And there's a, you ever dent an auger, that's that um, tool that you put through where your, where, your, where your fingers come out of the auger tube. You clamp that tool in there and it reshapes the auger. Um, and so, yeah, yeah, kind of a... Kind of a handy, handy deal. Um, I might be looking for this harness, believe it or not. Um, I just, I just saw this harness, and this is the harness I have been looking for. Ha ha, ha ha! I kid you not. I found a horseshoe this morning, and uh, I've been looking for this harness. And I was going to build this harness. See, it's got that European cigarette lighter on there. And uh, I kid you not. I kid you not. Stay with me. Be patient. Um, this morning, 
this morning I found this horseshoe. Um, you got to hold it like this so you catch your luck and your luck runs out if you tip it. I found this horseshoe in the dirt and then five minutes later I find a harness I have been looking for for quite a while. Um, oh boy, oh boy. Ha, man. Happy days, happy days. All right, all right, the sun is shining. Here's the old silo room. So the harvest or the uh, staves, our silage come out here, drop down and went across and went across the hay loft out to the feed lot. We've talked about that before and the conveyor come around and then come under the harvester. Well, you remember the harvesters had the old Goliath loader that's across the drive here. And uh, so you chose high gear on the harvester and then we just kind of had, dad had us feel the cable and then we knew about the rate that the silage was coming out and it mixed the two together. And then for feeding inside the barn, he built a trap door here out of the hay loft. So we had a cart, had a little cart you'd bring here. You'd open the trap and, uh, and then the conveyor would drop the feed here and then you run around and feed that side and, and come back. And so we started demoing in here. This was air vents for above the cows. It went right here and then it would move air above above so the hot air didn't sit on the ceiling and just make it a heat trap in here and it worked really really good and then he had uh <clears throat> it pushed the air to this end and he had a big fan up here it's still there but it it's closed because the the drapers on it and that would blow the air out the barn and it actually it was a really nice barn it was a really nice dairy barn I'm sad many days. Let's turn on that blower. Get some air. Get some air going through them beans. Ooh, you gotta step back. If you're within three feet of that fan, it will stick you right to it. Foom. Then you there you are, like a mouse on a stick'em trap. It uh, makes me sad a lot of days that we couldn't be successful at the dairy barn. Um but after seeing what's happened to the dairy industry um, and the, the life of a, a small dairy farm in America, uh, I'm glad we kind of didn't be successful, if that makes sense. It, uh, yeah, I'm going to let you go while I strap this down. All right, so here. Uh, so the SCH guard is really a cool guard. It's it's enclosed like that. Old Gleaner guys will will know about this system. Uh, Agco heads have been running that for a while. I converted this head over last year, uh, and and I am in love with this system. And we'll do a talk about that later. But I thought I had these on hand. It turns out I didn't. So I'm going to see if a cloth guard will work for right now. And uh, and and so let's we'll, i'll just run the head in hydraulic reverse so it goes super slow and then we can see let's lower our our uh, safety stops and get going oh, with the rain i had the grain tank closed down dun 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 gong gong Gong, 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 gong. See, I can sing it, then I don't get a copyright strike. <clears throat> so let's hit reverse. And we're watching. The nice thing in reverse, the cutter bar will stall. I don't know if you can see that. So the knife snagged over there. So... We might have to investigate why that is. I can't see any reason why it would have, but when I reverse the header, you're going backwards through the belt tightener. So if something's not right on your cutter bar, it just stops the cutter bar instead of hitting power. And uh, 
hitting full power and then just tearing up a knife section or a guard. So let's go see if maybe there's a nick in a knife and the knife is catching the, the guard. Sure enough, the damage of the knife here was enough so the knife is bent and twisted that it snags the top of the guard here. So we'll just replace him quick and uh, get on our way, huh? All right, again in reverse. Oh, I'm juke, 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 juke. There we go, there we go. Let's turn on that separator and go look at that cleaning fan. All right, oh boy, oh boy. We, uh, we got, okay, it's not that exciting, but um, made it up here for the first customer's beans. They're a very good looking bean. And uh, I, I gotta just dial in the grain tank on that first, that first bit. The camera picked up. Um, yeah. Yeah. So I'm just getting getting fine-tuned for the ground. So I drop the head, I come over here, and I can drop that number down a, a couple clicks from where it was, and that brings the head down to ride a little tighter. This field, um, I don't remember this field having much for rocks in it. Um, where the corn is back there, that field I'd click up to like 8.5 or 8.7 for that field back there. Um, we got really dry, so I'm trying to keep the reel speed not a whole lot more than the, the combine ground speed because I don't want to be shattering any beans out there and losing any beans in the field. Uh, trying to, you know, it's their livelihood, so you want to do a, get every, every nickel you can for a guy into the into the combine i don't like that out there that end roll that last row kind of falls off a cliff there and so it kind of it kind of makes my head have to do that oh it just goes slow three miles an hour and we got an 11 here, a seven over there. Um, there's my 45-55 someday. And, and then there's, uh, and then I can't remember what exactly, what it is, uh, 15 or 17 acres up by the woods here. And so with any luck, this will have him finished up this evening. Um, I usually double back. See how my left is leaving a tall stubble? So on this field, anytime he's got beans, I usually got to double back and hang out five or six rows and uh, kind of go over that spot there again just to see if, uh, if I can clean it up at all. Wind right up my butt. Uh, oh well. Look at that, 45.55. Brand new Firestones on the back. Oh boy. In the sunlight, you can see off the top of the hood, he's got her waxed up. Oh, that is a pretty tractor. That's a pretty tractor. It'd be fun to do the 60 series exhaust out this right side. Someday, boys, someday. But yeah, first hopper, first hopper just did two laps around and um, now we'll go to that far side and start working this way and boom, in a, in a few minutes we'll have this 11 acres done and then uh, there's a 7 acre behind us. Hopefully the grain cart gets here. Karen and Dad are working on that right now. Um, just getting the Mansi, the draw bar switched over and they're emptying our wagons and then they're coming back with the Massey to the grain cart and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. Well, the 11 acre is in the wagons and uh, racing through the seven acre here. This will take 20 minutes. Um, yeah, 
kind of a nice little feel. There's a heck of a little, it don't look like it on camera, but there's a, a little jog there that always makes it uh, a little interesting. You always go uphill at like two miles an hour so everything don't fall out the back of the combine. But yeah, really good beans. I would expect very good beans out of out of this farm. Um, so yeah. He's got some pretty woods there. He he gives rides in the summertime to folks and tours through the woods and uh, they usually they used to always do a hay ride in the fall and uh, kind of a fun little deal but yeah I don't know all right good morning how about that good morning uh, there's a little bit of toughness underneath the canopy you get a little growl in the combine so I'm gonna clean off this knob behind me the Massey's behind the knob right there and uh, so hopefully by the time I get this little chunk cleaned up and make my way back to the Massey he should be pulling in hopefully I can get that done before he comes back but otherwise he'll just be patient let me drive over there um, and then we'll just clean up these couple acres over here yeah and, uh, yeah yeah then we're done with done with this customer done with this customer This way, because we went that way. myself a little closer I was a little far away now I got close enough that my marker light hit the tire for Pete's sakes, who's, you know, uh, it's hard to find good help, ain't it? Well, there we go. The cart isn't full, but uh, whew, that should be more than enough for his wagon. So let's move the Massey to the hill. All right, here. Oof. Uh-oh, Karen. Aaron was in here last. <laughs> Let's hope I, the seat. She's a couple pounds lighter, so the seat just hits the floor as soon as I get in here. It's got the automatic seat height. Crank up that air. Feet on high. No, no, no. We need that air on high. Cripes, it's almost 60 degrees with that kind of sunlight. Woo! It's scorched earth kind of, kind of temperatures. Well, did I get the hydraulic hoses right? Yeah. Smoke. Smoke's coming around. That's 
there. Let's select a thousand PTO. Give it a bump. There'll be just a little bit of my soybeans left in the auger. And uh, PTO works fine. Oh, you shut him off. Let's uh, Let's go one mile an hour since it's cold. I just gotta turn the corner enough so he has room to get around me and under the auger. There's no specific place. He goes through them pretty woods. And there's been years, there's a, you could had to see the dip and then you gotta come up the hill. Oh, there was one year, well last year, the 4640 had a hard time getting out of the woods it was just all them oak leaves got just slimy enough that uh yeah i don't know <laughs> but oh there he is talk about timing he's pulling in right behind us right there oh yeah well this straighten up and well, starting a new customer, and uh, or the next field, um, these are drilled beans. Now, the nice thing about doing this custom work is you get to see all the different hybrids, planting dates, planting depth, fertility programs, tillage programs, row spacing, and uh, usually at the end of the year, there's no major winner other than uh, luck of hybrid selection and field you know on a dry year a wet field wins it kind of deal but I sure like combining drilled beans better than row crop beans it, uh, yeah this is good looking field this is a real good looking field well take 15 minutes with the blow gun and uh Get the combine cleaned off, and then I make sure to shut the battery disconnect off in case a mouse gets onto a main harness somewhere. A pretty good start across this field. Um, it's Sunday evening, so I think right before the sun sets, I'm going to get home and uh, have some steaks and just have a nice evening with the wife and. Tomorrow's Monday, so the work week starts all over again. Yeah, good hard frost again last night. Got a service call this morning to see if I can't get a guy's chore tractor running. And then maybe by mid-morning, that frost will be cooked off the beans and uh, get back to soybean harvest. And so... Yeah, been going good. I'm gonna just <sighs> thank you guys for watching this video, and then uh, if anything exciting happens at the rest of the soybean harvest, I'll catch a video, and make another video. Otherwise, that was uh, our soybean harvest for the custom soybean harvest for the season. <laughs>